Okay, so how's everybody? Appreciate you for coming to the channel. And I am going to go over the process of how I created these uh, super trees. Uh, I got these the other day from the uh, local hobby shop, train shop, Blue Ox Trains here in Atlanta. And they were actually 50% off because the box was crushed. So I grabbed them. And if you look, they come in this bushel. I forgot the name of the actual plant or tree or whatever it is that makes this um, tree possible. But they come in a clump like that and you just have to separate them. So after you separate them into the type of tree you want it to look like, whether it's a long tree, short tree, fat tree, they have these leaves that need to be pulled out from in between the, I guess, which will become the shoots and limbs of your tree. Some of them aren't connected. As you see here, I had to uh, just prune them and make the actual um, trunk. Some of them I actually snipped closer um, and made that trunk shorter. And yeah, you just kind of go through here and pull out all the little leaves and the little pieces of branch that aren't connected together. And you will have um, a pretty nice looking tree structure, if you will. Um, this is probably one of the relaxing parts of doing this for me anyway. And you just kind of go through it and like I said, just pull them out and pruning it to the shapes of the trees that you like. And here are some of the ones that I've done. Done some little trees, some big trees, some medium trees. I think with some of those other items though that you pull out, you can probably make shrubs out of them. You could do a whole bunch of stuff. So after I made the shapes, I actually spray painted the trees with a dark brown. I think it's like a camouflage brown or something. But I spray painted them, flipped them over, spray painted the other side. You gotta make sure you kinda get on top and underneath the uh, structures. Cause there'll be places where you might miss or something like that. But yeah, after the spray painting. Oh, I'm sorry, here's uh, the actual super leaves. So I like fall and so my trees will be fall colors. But I sped this section up a little bit um, because it's more or less me just sprinkling the leaves over it. But that is a, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a mixture of seven to one. So it's one part glue and seven parts water. I used HodgePodge Matte. I think the Super Trees company, they have their own type of glue and their own type of everything, but I just used what I had here. And after I dipped the tree, I held it by the trunk, dipped the top part in the mixture, and then just started sprinkling. I make sure, you know, that I want a good coverage over top of it. And you can see I have a few different tubs there so I'm trying to save some of the um, leaf material as well so I can reuse the stuff that once you shake it off like I'm doing here I can just put it back and reuse it and here's the final piece I'm very pleased at how these turned out I only done a few just to see kind of the process and people claim it's easy and it was really easy but it was a fun piece to do some of them you can see here I kind of changed the colors, blended colors and stuff like that. So overall it was an easy process. I loved it and 
I will be doing a lot more. And with that said, thanks for watching. See you soon.